everybody na nanonood ngayon sa GTV and all over social media on GMA Sports P8 and NCAA Philippines. Anton Rojas alongside JV Mokon. And later on, we also have our courtside reporters, Lizelle Nervis and Julia Ong reporting for Benil and EAC, respectively. And the first possession will go to the Benil Blazers, who are riding on a three-game winning streak, JV. Oh, this, this is a good matchup, Anton. Siyempre, both of these teams, top sila, and they want to get to that top four spots. Oh, Chavo. Robin. Angeles on the drive. And Turco comes up with the board. We were talking about it, Anton. As he really also really needs to step up his game. Because he's the only missing piece here. Well, alongside Cortez, who played really good a couple first games. Sila, pero medyo na wala rin si Cortez. Eh. And Will Gossum, the reigning MVP, his numbers down from last season. So obviously, that is uh, something that is glaring when we look at these statistics. Just 10.7 points per game and 6.8 rebounds per outing this season for the reigning MVP. But still, no, no, that, that's very decent for, him, for any player in the NCAA. But we're, we're talking about Will Gossum, last season's MVP. So hopefully he step up his game. And then Shepre is not only hearing it from us, he's hearing it from Coach Charles and the whole CSP community. Ganong kataas yung expectations natin sa isang Will Gozo. Alright, let's get an update on this EAC general squad. As I mentioned earlier, Julia Ong is with us and she has this report on the generals. Thank you so much, Anton. Through ups and downs in the system of Coach Gerson's built is the EAC generals trust. So even though they fell short in their last game, alam nila na makakabawi sila. Kayo pa naman daw, patakuhin kung ilan yung linabang ng kalaban eh. Pero biro lang yan ni Captain JP Magulliano. Gaya nga ng sabi nyo, outrebounded sila ng Golden Stags at sinabayan pa yan ng poor decision making nila. Kaya ngayon, ayan ang i-improve nila. Double kill din daw kasi kung matatalo sila. Lagot na kay coach, lagot pa sa standings. Kaya ngayon, hanggang sa huling segundo, susunod sa sistema at hindi magpapadala sa sariling hangarin. Your thoughts, Anton and JP? Finally, EAC gets on the board and via one of their usual suspects, Ralph Robin. Shot clock at 14 seconds. Yung nagiging problem nila is yung rebounding itong EAC. But that's a good pass and a great two-point shot there to start off this game. But yung rebounding nila, at the same time, yung nawala intensity nila eh, during the San Sebastian game. Yeah, that was a head-scratcher of a game to me, considering the fact that coming into that matchup against San Sebastian, back-to-back -back wins yep. itong EAC Generals. At yung San Sebastian naman, natalo ng 14 puntos laban sa uh, Perpetual. Siguro nandun na rin yung factor na natalo din yung etong EAC na natalo yung mga big teams. So, siguro naging complacent din kasi they're playing itong San Sebastian who's only 3-5 years. So, may ganun complacency, may ganun confidence factor. Kaya medyo off yung game. Meanwhile, second triple of the game for Ralph Robin as we get this report on the Benil side with Nizel Nervis. Thank you, Anton. The Benil Blazers are definitely blazing through their previous games, obtaining three consecutive wins, now aiming for their fourth today as they rise up to the ranks. Isa lamang ang nasabi sa akin ni Coach Charles Chu. The team still has a lot to improve. Pagdating sa mga turnovers at pagmamadali sa laro, palaging paalala ni Coach Charles sa Koponan is to keep it simple and efficient, to take care of the ball and just play basketball. Madadala kaya ng Blazers ang mga paalala na ito sa laro, Abangan natin yan, Anton and JB. Ayun nga, tama siguro. Tama yung sinabi ni Coach Charles to take care of the ball. The report ni Lizelle din. That's a good report. And also, a good um, observation there by uh, Coach Charles Chu. Na medyo nahirapan dun yung CSP, the way they handed the ball. Siyempre, we gotta give credit to Prince Carlos and Robin Naive, who's been great at that point guard duty. Yeah, Prince Carlos is having his best season in a Benilde uniform. His numbers are up. So that's a good sign for him playing in his final season here in the NCAA. Robin grabs his own miss. 
Robin atake. Ilalabas ang bola. Angeles susubok mula sa kanto. And that's three three-pointers for the Generals para simula ng ating laro. Oo, oh, tama ka. Anto, what a way to start the game. Tatlong three-pointers agad here sa AAC. So that's to CSB. They gotta look to that. Itong three-point shot sila. Pero pinawi at naman ni Mix of Sol with that with his own three-point. Almost great defense there by uh, Prince Carlos as he tried to defend the attacker. But we can see it. Great setup. Got an execution now for that open three pointer. The driving kicks are so libre, libre, mga three point shots. Here, Milan. Good. Ganado. Itong uh, EAC Generals para simulan ang ating laro. So that's a good sign for new head coach Jerson Cabildes. Trying to bounce back today. Posejo to Robin. Extra pass. Angeles libre. And Posejo trying to secure the rebound. Not Posejo. Stolen away by Will Gozum. Here comes the reigning MVP, Will Gozum. Foul then. He will head to the line for two. Ito yung Will Gozum na sinasabi natin. Yung last year, season 98 MVP. Kitang kita niya. He was playing the passing lane. He got the steal. And then with that Euro step, Makuwa siya ng foul and he's gonna make two free throws here. Last season in 22 games, Will Gozum averaged 16.7 points per game, 9.4 rebounds per outing, 1.7 assists, and 1.1 blocks for so contest. Yun, almost double-double si Will last season. At the same time, 10 points per game lang siya this season. So yung ang laki nung disparity between one year lang yung difference, eh, di ba? And, and he is still the reigning MVP here. And that is very surprising considering na there's unfinished business for yes, Will oh. Gozum and the Benil Blazers. So you would think that the motivation is still there para sa kanya. Siguro, nag-iba rin yung mentality ni Will na not only scoring, he wants to, you know, win, win, win games, win the championship. So, Medyo inaayaan niya yung mga teammates niya eh. Pero, syempre, nagbo-blossom din ito sila Prince Oxon, Prince Carlos. Coach Charles Tew calls a timeout. The EAC Generals lead by four. All right, let's take a look at the team standings. Dahil nga, ito na yung uh, third to the last game day, actually, bago matapos yung elimination round. Yeah, so, ito nga, tabla, tabla talaga. Itong both teams natin here, as Benil try to extend their winning streak, and also itong Generals to come back off from a loss. Pero most especially, itong win na to, they're gonna, you know, take a crack here to get to the final four spot. At the same time, dikit dikit talaga eh. So you need to get all the wins that you can get, especially here for the EAC Generals as they are the underdog here. Tsaka JV, itong uh, Benil na EAC, pagkatapos nito, sa linggo, may laro pa sila. So yun yung magiging uh, huling laro nila on Sunday for the first round. And of course, the highly anticipated rematch in the finals between Benilde and Letran. Yun nga talaga. Etong season talaga. NCAs. We can see here Prince Carlos hitting that corner three. Etong NCA talaga is a grind out season. Talaga dikit dikit yung mga games. Olo masyado pa inga. So you have to, you know, what they always say: you availability is the best ability. Meanwhile, inside pass, Bakud is able to score. And of course, we also want to uh, give a shout out to the Letran Knights who finally picked up their first win of the season. 
Well, that's Coach Francis' first win here sa NCAA Season 99. And that's a good sign. Also, injured pa nun si, si Rayson. Yeah, Rayson sat out with a groin injury. But his teammates picked up the slack. Oxon. Guazum, hand off. Nabitawan. Turco, back to Will. And, and those shots like that, JV, are very makeable for yeah. Will Gozum. That's why it's shocking to me to see. I don't know if he's going to Will or, or something, but you know, last year, Will would just feast in the paint. Oh, he's just very different, no? The way his uh, you know, body language and those Will. We're not saying he's playing bad, but he's not playing himself. Ito si Will Gossum, pero yung mga, yung mga ganong tira, oh, it's either two points or a foul here. Pero, Kumbaga, he's not in his MVP form yeah, as of exactly, the moment. Exactly, but also give credit to Nat Coseo for that great defense without fouling dito si Will. Meanwhile, JP Magulliano, the only player averaging a double-double, believe it or not, here in NCAA Season 99. Luciano, Naagawan, Kahukom. To Oxon. Oxon, who meet in the air. And Corteza. Uh, this guy is an absolute workhorse. Yeah, it was si, si Mix Corteza. But at the same time, he's not really playing the first couple games. Sila. Ang ganda nila ni Corteza. But the past couple games, he's not really At the same time, at the same time, si Will did it. But he's still not really playing. Maguliano. Fade away. Oxon with the board. Naive on the drive. Robbie Naive powering his way up for that basket. How good Naive has been for the CSP Blazers, covering kono nawawala sa scoring and also the leadership ability nito ni ni Robbie Naive. And they have been the duo here, si Mix, for, si Mix Oxon and Robbie Naive, especially sa mga fourth quarter runs, mga end game runs sila. Ochavo. Floater off the glass. And Maguliano seems to be mad about something. And they're beating Kanina ni Oxon and then Corteza with a rebound and put back. And just bullying his way to the basket. Robbie Naive, the captain of the Blazers. Yung maganda kay Robbie Naive, nakita niya mismatch siya talaga. Inatake niya agad without running any plays. And that's always his, yung forte nito ni Robbie Naive, eh, bringing in the table for uh, for Coach Charles. Yung value niya is just attack the basket. And also, nakikita niya yung reads eh. Nakikita niya mga exit pass, mga open teammates niya. Definitely a lot of expectations para dito kay Robbie Naive. As the leader, an extension of the coach on the hard court, Gurtiza is in the game for the first time. Sanko. And it's going to be General's basketball. Gurtiza, you know he's gonna let it fly. That's what he is sent in to do put up numbers on the board right away. Coach Gerson Cabiltes wants to talk things over EAC down by one. Let's take a look at the last game of the Benil Blazers, their third straight win, JV, after a rocky start to season 99. Itong, itong Blazers up and down talaga eh, this season, pero they always grind out yung mga end game execution at ang gande. Eh. So we can see here itong third quarter ng Arellano, they weathered the storm on that fourth quarter run. And oh, itong three players on that clutch, they scored kalate. Eh. They have Migs Oxon, 
And they have Prince Carlos securing that game. Pero si Will nga, yung medyo na inaharap natin, is, he only scored two points on that game. As we can see here, itong EAC versus San Sebastian, talagang kontrolado ng San Sebastian, yung Stags, the whole game. They out-rebounded itong EAC, yung energy wala. Kaya talo talaga yung EAC on that game. And that was definitely uh, shocking considering that uh, EAC was on a high coming into that contest. Pero yun nga, as you mentioned earlier, probably a little bit of complacency for these guys. But uh, all it takes is a loss to sometimes wake up the players. Yes, oh. Kasi, syempre, going into, as we can see here, Cortiza, they shooting the lights out here on this first quarter. Pero yun nga, kita naman natin yung, yung complacency nga eh. Kasi they, they're beating strong teams. Oh, wow! King Gortiza with a three and the rejection. Good timing there on that block. Uh, dito kay Gortiza. I was talking about itong uh, yung complacency ng EAC. Nagising nga sila with that loss. Siyempre, we can see here itong start ng game nila. Mainit na mainit. King Gortiza, say it with your chest. A rejection on Marcos. And he draws a foul. <laughs> He's all over the place. Yeah. King Gortiza. And he just came off the bench. Ito si King Gortiza providing the energy. And that has been the strategy, JV, para sa kumpara ni Coach Jerson Cavintesa. Nagpapalitan si Robin and Gortiza. It's only in the fourth quarter where nagsasabay sila on the court at the same time. Oh, ang ganda ng, ano, eh, ng game plan always sa itong AAC. Kita mo naman the way they execute the play. They have their attack points. And syempre yung rotation. Tolentino. Dinedepensaan ng rookie na si Jericho Halalot. Familiar name, of course, a name that you're very familiar with. You you guys had your battles, especially in the NCAA Finals. And Jericho Halalon, of course, the younger brother of Giovanni Halalon. There he is, Arellano Chiefs legend. Would you imagine, Anton, this guy has been dropping triple doubles <laughs> here in the NCAA and going over sa professional league, di ba? Grabe. And how, how small lang, how, how tall. It's Gio Alalon, di ba? Getting rebounds, getting steals, assists. And syempre, eh, supporting itong brother niya, si, si Jericho. Jericho Halalon was also from Arellano, but in high school. And now, changing colors. Good pickup for Coach Charles Dew. And he's getting some minutes here. Alala ko nung... Mo, JV, it was the golden era of players who could average a triple-double. You had Giovanni yeah, Halalon, yeah. Scotty. Scotty Thompson, and then later on, Bong Quinto was also yeah, a triple-double threat. Oh. Robert Pollock also flirting with uh, you know, a couple of times on triple-double. Naive. Maguliano. And you can see how, how much in better shape Magugliano is this season. That's the why only, he's averaging yeah, the only a double player, double. The only player who's scoring and rebounding double double. Last year, I think it was Will. Meanwhile, another one for King Gurtiza. They're really shooting the lights out here from EAC. At the same time, ang ganda ng execution eh. Walang, walang pilit na tira, and they're just running, running their plays. Ang ganda ng mga skills kaya libre-libre yung mga shooters. Halalo, pinagay dito kay Marcos. McCoy. Marcos gets the ball back. Marcos. Sanko. Sanko. Dangerous pass, but it will stay with Benil. Hashtag spotted Chris Flores and of course volleyball superstar CC Rondina. Of course, we wish a speedy recovery and all the best to Chris Flores. Unfortunately, that ACL injury as Robbie Naive hits a three. Now we were covering that game, the injury Chris, and he had to be carried out. 
just a just a freak accident. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, it's better now. Jericho Halalot. I want to see if he has the same speed as his brother. Actually, oh, eventually we're, we're gonna see it for sure as he gets it uh, feet wet here. So NCA season 99. Obviously, you see Jericho, he's playing under Coach Charles' system, which was very different from Coach Jericho Diniera's system, oh, yeah. where there was a lot of running. So, Pedro, so we set up, set up. He's feeling his way, the young Alano. That's a good point, Anton, because hey, during the time of Gio, yeah, it's a pressing team. Actually, Gio is a one-man pressing team. <laughs> so, if you want to point guard with Gio, you're going to Because it's going to be a hard time for your point guard. But you can see the physique of Jericho, the length of his hair. Meanwhile, Robbie Naive at the buzzer, who is also a foul. What a finish to the first period. And what a, what a play call. Just give the ball yeah. to the captain. Actually, he, play. <laughs> he called his own yeah. number. Oh. I think they're checking the time here. Or what? That's a great shot by Robin Ive to end this first quarter. Yeah, I would say Malina Oyon that he got the shot off. So, I don't know if this is the official tally 19 to 15. We will come back for the second period. You're watching NCAA Season 99 on GTV.